Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install and download Configure OVGME, which is a mod manager for TCS World. Go to Downloads, Public, Mods and Add-ons, scroll to the bottom, find OVGME. You can read this text, but simply hit the download button. That takes you to the OneDrive. If you do not automatically download files by default, right-click, select Download. Then you can run to your Downloads folder, and you can basically go ahead and run this uh, zip file, go ahead and extract it into a folder, run the exe, and install OVGME as you normally would. Then you've got OVGME set up, and so the next thing we need to do is configure or mods. So I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, what I'm basically calling DCS mods um, folder. So it's just on a separate drive, DCS mods, and this is where I keep my configurations. So I'm gonna make a new one today. I'm gonna call it New Saved Games. And if I had mods for like the core DCS core, I could have like a root folder config and you can see I've got one here. Um, but we're gonna set up a New Saved Games one. That's all we need today. So next we are going to run back over here, go to Operation Dune Shield, for example. Let's say I need the Civil Aircraft mod. Okay, I just click it. Run over here, do the same thing, and install the download these mods, military aircraft mod, same thing, and the associated deliveries. Boom. So through the power of uh, basically pre-planning and editing, we've already got those things downloaded. So um, here are my mods. Uh, basically, if I just left shift and select, I can cut these mods and put them into my new saved games folder. Paste. They go over there, or alternatively, let's say I just wanted to drag and drop. So this one's a tack view config. I drag and drop, it shows up in the tack view, but then I have to go ahead and delete it out of my downloads folder. Okay, let's jump over to OVGME. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is set up a new config, and I'm gonna call this new saved games, and my configuration root folder this is going to be my DCS world. So C drive or wherever you've been, um, actually this will always be your C drive, but C drive, user, saved games, DCS world open beta and okay. And then the mods folder, this is the folder we just created. Go to the SSD, DCS mods, new saved games. Okay, and then hit create. So now we have the drop down up here. You can see I've got multiple configs and those mods have been imported successfully. Um, if at any time I wanna add mods to this config, it is very simple. Just go to your downloads after you've downloaded the mod and drag it into this folder. And you can simply uh, find the mods here. So next after we've downloaded them, simply highlight them and select enable. This is gonna run through the process of unzipping and placing these mod files in the proper locations. And basically that is controlled or set up by the zip function of the mods. So if whoever's made the mod did a good job of basically packing the mod, and what I mean by that is they've got a mods folder, they've got a tech folder, or you know mods aircraft, whatever, um, then it will work just fine if for some reason a mod's not working, which is rarely the case with 476 mods, um, but you may find that with external mods, it's pretty easy just go into the zip folder and restructure that. Okay, so through the power of editing, all of my mods have been installed and these will be totally functional. Um, if at any time I wanna update DCS World, it's a good practice to come over here, select the mods and disable, and don't forget to do that to your root mods as well. Simply select the mods and disable. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope that helped.